Assalamu alaikum dear students of class 10. Welcome to your e-learning class of chemistry with your teacher Hudu. Chapter is acid spaces and salts and the topic we are going to discuss is neutral acidic and basic solutions and neutralization reactions. We will first study about neutral acidic and basic solutions. By using pH paper, we can easily check that the solution is a strong acid or a weak acid. It is a strong base or a weak base or it is neutral. Just to check the acidic or basic nature of solution is litmus paper. Blue litmus paper turns red or pink in acidic medium and red litmus paper turns blue in basic medium. So the solution in which hydrogen ion concentration is greater than the concentration of hydroxide ion that solution is called as acidic solution. The solution in which hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the hydroxide concentration, that solution is termed as neutral solution. And the solution in which hydroxide concentration is greater than the concentration of hydrogen ion, that solution is termed as basic solution. Now let's check your understanding about acidic, basic and neutral solutions. I have some sample solutions and you have to tell me that this solution is acidic, basic or neutral. Solution A contains more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. What do you say that this solution is acidic, basic or neutral? Think over it. Yes, this solution will be acidic. Solution B contains more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. Now what do you say either it is acidic, basic or neutral? Definitely it is a base. Solution C contains an equal concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. Tell me which one is this? This is neutral. And solution D has a pH of 2.3. It is less than 7. In the range of 0 to 6, this solution is acidic, basic or neutral? Definitely this solution is acidic. Solution E has a pH of 8.5. This is more than 7 in the range of 8 to 14. So this solution is base. And a solution F that has a pH of 7. What solution, which kind of solution it is? It is neutral. As we know that neutral solutions have equal H plus and OH minus signs. So their molar concentration will be equal to 1 into 10 to power minus 7 at 25 degrees centigrade. Acidic solutions have greater H plus than OH minus, so the molar concentration of H plus will be greater than 1 into 10 raised to power minus 7 at 25 degrees centigrade. Similarly, basic solutions have greater OH minus than H plus, so the molar concentration of OH minus will be greater than 1 into 10 raised to power minus 7 at 25 degrees centigrade. Now, we can see in the diagram. In basic solution, hydroxide and concentration is greater than hydrogen ion concentration. In neutral solution, both the concentrations are equal. And in acidic solution, hydrogen ion concentration is greater than hydroxyl ion concentration. Now there is an indicator named as phenolphthalein. It is a colorless liquid, but when we add it in a base or a basic solution, its colors become pink. So it is used to check the basicity of a substance. There is another indicator named as bromothymol blue. Its original color is blue, but when we add it in acidic solution, its color becomes yellow. I hope you understood the difference between the neutral acidic and basic solutions. Now we will start another term that is neutralization reaction. It is defined as a chemical reaction in which an acid and a base react to form salt and water. Here you can see the example HCl reacts with NaOH and it forms salt that is NaCl plus water. See the examples. Acid when reacts with base it forms water and salt. This kind of reaction is called as neutralization reaction. HCl reacts with sodium hydroxide. HCl is an acid. Sodium hydroxide is a base. They react to form water and salt. Similarly, nitric acid HNO3 it is an acid. It reacts with 
sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a base. They both react to form water and NaNO3 sodium nitrate salt. Here sodium and hydroxide ions react with H plus and Cl minus ions and they form salt and water molecules. Let me explain you neutralization reaction. Here HCl is an acid, it reacts with the base sodium hydroxide and forms sodium chloride salt and water. In this reaction, sodium hydroxide dissociates as follows Na plus and OH minus, while HCl in aqueous solution dissociates to give H plus and Cl minus ions. Now we can write this equation like this. These both ions are the acidic ions and these both ions are the basic ions. These all react to form salt and water. These both combine to form salt and these both combine to form water. Now you can clearly see that sodium ions and chloride ions remain same at both sides of the equation. There is no change in these both ions. The only change is occurring over here. Hydrogen ions combine with hydroxide ions and form water. So we can cut the common ions at both sides of the equation, chloride ion and chloride ion, sodium ions and sodium ions. These both ions are called as the spectator ions because these were only watching the game. Hmm. So we are left with H plus and OH minus ions. These both react to form water. A netic ionic equation shows the species actually involved in the reaction. So this is the net ionic equation in which these both were actually involved in the neutralization reaction and sodium and chloride ions were only the spectator ions. Net ionic equation is H plus and OH minus which gives water. This is the end of our today's topic. I hope you understood it well. Goodbye.